What's up guys, we're in the studio today and I wanted to take a little bit of time to make a short tutorial for you guys. Uh, and this is specifically on the Sandisk videos that we've been producing for this last year. Um, some of you have commented that you are not able to get the drive to show up on your Windows PC. Uh, I've come across this problem myself, so I totally understand what's going on. Uh, I found a way for you to fix that so you can uh, work with any of the Sandisk products, whether it be on your Mac and Windows. So I'm gonna do a quick little tutorial and show you guys on my computer how it is I get to set up uh, the drive so that A, your Windows computer can read it, but B, so we can format it and make sure that we can uh, use it across Mac and PC if needed. So stick with me, we're gonna jump on the computer and let me show you how to do it. Okay guys, so here we are on my Windows workstation and I wanna make it clear that we are running Windows 11 on this uh, computer, but if you are running Windows 10, the process is almost identical the only difference is the way that windows is laid out you know it's a little bit different from windows 10 um, to windows 11 but what we're going to start doing is we're going to come down here to our taskbar and we're going to find our start little icon here and we're going to right click it when we right click it we're going to get this drop down menu and we are going to choose disk management uh, disk management is a great tool um, and it allows you to check the health of your drives um, on the computer. Anything that's connected to it, uh, as long as it's a storage device, um, it will read and it will show up here. Now, on my computer here, I have a couple different drives um, set up. But the drive that we're looking for here, which is our SanDisk Shuttle 4, is here on disk number 5. Now, you'll see that the disk is partitioned. Um, and then what partition means is just separated in different um, quantities of storage. So we can allocate a certain amount of storage to a maybe a folder or even uh, from computer to computer or from Windows to Mac. Now, our drive is partitioned here and our computer's reading it. However, I want you guys to take a look. If we open up our file explorer on our left hand side here where we would normally have all our drives show up, there is no shuttle drive. So our computer's reading it. However, it's not showing up as available storage. So what we want to do is we're going to format this drive or in this case, the four drives that we have in our shuttle four. Um, and obviously right now it's set up to rate zero, which is why we're reading the complete amount of storage here. Uh, but we can set that up later. Uh, but all we want to do here is make sure that our computer reads our drives and we're able to start reading and writing storage to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go in here and on our large storage um, partition, we're actually gonna delete this volume. Now it's gonna let you know that the selected partition was not created by Windows and might contain data recognized by other operating systems. Uh, it's just letting us know it's gonna delete whatever is in that you know in that partition so make sure uh, if it is a drive that you've already been using that you've backed up your data if this is a brand new drive like it is in our case then it's not a big deal we know nothing is saved there but once again i'm going to repeat myself if you do have a drive that you've been using already everything will be deleted off this drive so make sure it is back up and stored somewhere else so we're going to go and hit yes Give that a second here. All right. Now you'll see this other partition here. We're not allowed to delete it. Um, you can get into some other software that allow you to do that. But in our case, 200 megabytes is not going to hurt us. And usually this is um, files that the system needs to be able to read and write, you know, uh, software that's in the uh, the drives so now we have this unallocated space here in black 
And what we're going to do now is we're going to right click on this and we're going to add a new simple volume. All right. So from our wizard, we're going to go ahead and click on next here. We're going to allow the maximum amount of storage. And we're going to allow the computer to assign a drive letter. In this case, it's K. That's fine for me. Hit next. Now this is where you're able to choose the format of the drive. You can see it says do not format this volume, um, but obviously we want to format the drive. So we're going to format this volume with the following settings. In our file drop down menu here, we have NTFS selected right now. So this would be the format that you'd want to select if you're exclusively using Windows. Uh, if you're jumping back and forth from Windows to Mac like I am, then we're going to go ahead and select XFAT from the drop down menu there. Uh, allocate unit size. This is where we can choose a specific uh, size if we wanted to, but we want to obviously use the whole volume. And the volume label. This is where we can name our drive. And you'll see we're able to choose perform a quick format or you know, if you just deselect that, then it's going to take a really, really long time. So I would select just, uh, you know, perform a quick format. Now we have our correct format, which is XFAT. And we have the name of our volume. We're going to go ahead and select next. Uh, this is going to let us know, you know, we're completing the wizard here and we're going to hit finish. And now you can see that our drive has showed up. Um, and our computer actually read it, which is why it popped up right away. And you can see our drive is here and the folder is empty. Now, if we come down here and right click on our drive, we're going to select properties. And we'll be able to see it's labeled Sammy's hard drive. We can see the use space and we can see the free space. So now we have all our allocated space here. We'll see it's our drive K and you can see that the format is XFAT right here select ok close this and now you can see we have our sammy's hard drive partition here ready to read and write from and that's about it well there you have it guys a nice and simple tutorial for today i hope you guys found it helpful if you did make sure you guys hit that like button and consider subscribing to our youtube channel if you guys want to learn more about these storage solutions or any other storage solutions that Sammy's carries, head on over to one of our Southern California locations or visit us online at sammys.com. It's going to wrap it up for us here today, guys. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.